During the Spanish Civil War, the German Condor Legion deployed the Dornier DO-17 medium cross bomber. During World War II, it was widely deployed spearheading the Blitzkrieg operation of Poland, France, Belgium and Holland. It was, however, eclipsed by more powerful aircraft such as the Yonkers Ju-88. In wars with inadequate air support and anti-air defenses such as the Balkans, Greece and Crete, the Du-17 proved successful. However, it suffered against the British Royal Air Force during London attacks as well as the Soviet Union's developing supremacy. Because of its slender design, the aircraft was dubbed the Flying Pencil. During the war, around 2140 Dornier Du-17 bombers were built, many of which served Germany's Axis partners. Following World War I, the German Empire signed the Treaty of Versailles, which limited its military expansion and army to 100,000 soldiers. Germany grew to be nearly as strong as the United Kingdom and France under Adolf Hitler's leadership. To rebuild a formidable army, scientists and engineers created new technology, culminating to the formation of the Luftwaffe, Germany's new air force. The Luftwaffe's initial military aircrafts were simple modifications of commercial planes such as the Dornier Du-17, Built in 1913 by the aviation entrepreneur Claude Dornier and his business Dornier GmbH. The Dornier DO-17 was a commercial postal plane with a long fuselage, limited passenger seats and a small flying deck. It was powered by two engines and flew with a single vertical tail fin on a monoplane wing assembly. Despite its unique design, the prototype was rejected in 1934 due to its inverted cabinet layout. It might, however, be acceptable for military usage with appropriate modifications. Donier cut the vertical fin in half and deleted the passenger cargo compartments. During initial testing, German Luftwaffe aviator praised the Du 17's toughness and flying control. The medium bomber Du 17E1 and the specialized reconnaissance aircraft. Du-17F1 were both manufactured. The Bombay was superseded by the Recon variant, which had two reconnaissance cameras and more fuel capacity. The plane was nicknamed the Pencil because it had a straight leading edge and a slender narrow fuselage. In battle, the Du-17 was difficult to hit and possessed twin vertical stabilizer for great lateral stability. The forward fuselage had a step cockpit with a glazed nose, but the Germans modified it during the Spanish Civil War with a raised cockpit roof with an undernose gondola dubbed Bola. There were four crew members in the cockpit including a pilot, bombardier and gunners. Traditional landing gear legs and retractable tail wheels were used on the undercarriage. In the events of an assault, the Du-17 was armed with four MG-15 machine guns, allowing it to defend itself from all sides. To improve firepower, late war variant might be outfitted with eight machine guns. The MG-15 featured a 7.92mm caliber and a rapid firing rate, allowing it to reach targets quickly. Some German crews had fitted backward firing flamethrowers to it. The black greasy fog was designed to blind and disorient opposing fighters. These flamethrowers were critical in deterring enemy attacks since Allied pilots were sometimes coated in oil for seconds, rendering them susceptible to fire. A flamethrower injured RAF pilot Ray Holmes from 400 yard distance in the classic Battle of the Britain incident. The bomb's weight ranged from 1000 to more than 2000 pounds. During the Spanish Civil War, the Du-17 was an important aircraft in the fight against National Socialism and International Communism. The USSR, Britain and other nations backed the Spanish Republic, while Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini backed the rebellious nationalists led by General Francisco Franco. Germany dispatched the Condor Legion, which was outfitted with modern Du-17 bombers, Yonkers Ju-87 dive bombers, Messerschmitt Bf-109 fighters and Panzer light tanks. 
both variants were thoroughly tested to improve their capabilities and German pilots praised their exceptional handling and speed. Historians claim that Hitler's assistant of Francisco Franco helped him defeat the Socialist Republic. During the fight, German aircraft had great air supremacy. Engine modifications were made to both variants of the D-17 bomber, with the D-17 bomber receiving Bramo 323 Fafner engines and the D-17 Recon receiving the DMW 132N series engines. Both models have an improved storage capacity of up to 2200 pounds. Germany attacked Poland in September 1939, deploying 370 Dornier DO-17s to support ground troops. The first target was the railway bridge at the Dorschau from which DO-17 flight groups flew safely over Poland. In the early phases, the aircraft bomber became the Luftwaffe's offensive punch with recon planes leading the Violet Blitzkrieg and massive bombardment of particular targets. The D-17 was employed in the 1940 French invasion, forcing the British to withdraw from the mainland France. The Luftwaffe and the Wehrmacht effectively surrounded the last Allied soldiers at Dunkirk, leaving the French defenseless against the German invasion. With France's surrender, the Battle of the Britain was put in motion, and so does the Operation Sea Lion. The French were overconfident in their defenses and ill-prepared to deal with the German assault. Germany readied 210 DO-17 bombers and recon variants to battle the British on July 10, 1940. Germany, on the other hand, knew that the Luftwaffe would be unable to subdue the highly skilled RAF pilots in their own airspace. During the conflict, the DO-17's age, fragile fuselage and limited bomb load capacity were problematic. Many aircraft were soon downed by the anti-aircraft batteries of the British defenders. With their increased speed, the new Allied fighters might match, if not outperform, the praised performance of D-017. The Luftwaffe began transitioning to the Yonkers Ju-88 medium bombers after 1940. However, many D-017s were deployed for Balkan wars and invasion of Greece and Crete. There were just one D-017 group at the time of the Wehrmacht invasion of Russia. The surviving DO-17s were replaced by the Yonkers Ju-88s, while others were sold to forces in Eastern Europe such as Croatia, Italy and Finland. After falling under Soviet army control during the Winter War, Finland collaborated with the Third Reich to battle the Russians. The Luftwaffe gave the remaining five DO-17Z2 aircraft to the Finnish Air Arm for bombing missions, but they were never constructed again. Most DO-17s were destroyed or forgotten after the war. Thank you for watching my video. To watch more videos on German aircraft, consider subscribing to this channel. You may find more videos on German aircrafts on this channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.